So I made this script for Townscaper. So this is Townscaper. I made this script for, so Townscaper is, is a game by, uh, or it's not really a game. Okay, so this is Townscaper. It's a toy, it's a toy. Uh, so this is Townscaper, it's a toy by Oscar Stahlberg. He made some other toys before. And he's very good at doing tiling sets and things and 3D stuff with like things tiled together. Um, so he made this game and then I made a script to edit the save files because it's really annoying to like click on stuff a whole bunch and just like place voxels one at a time. That's the most annoying thing about Minecraft too is like just clicking one voxel at a time. Uh, so anyway, I made this editor for the the levels and then of course I was like, well, why don't I just make like a giant block? And so I did that and that's another video. But then I was like, okay, well, let's make a, the worst town, not just the biggest town, but like the worst. And uh, so I, I had my script make a bunch of towers, um, and these are only half the height, like the level height, because uh, I just wanted to see like how bad would it be, and it turns out it's pretty bad. Uh, so this is this is loading in real time, like it's it's loading it's off an SSD, so it's not like it's loading off the hard drive right now. This is it, this is Unity trying to figure out how to draw all the polygons, I guess, uh, and it's not it's not doing a great job. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like you can see some banding. It looks like maybe it's every uh, every 32 blocks or something like that. It, uh, it it resets its lighting engine or something. I don't know how it does shadowing or ambient occlusion or anything, but anyway, so it was loading this in, but it wasn't really unresponsive. It was just you know it took a long time to load, and uh, but once it got it loaded in wasn't too bad uh it still hadn't loaded all the windows of course so uh I, so this wasn't really the worst town because it's only half height and you know it, it's got a bunch of solid towers what if there were like gaps and stuff and like you know uh ladders and things so you can see that there's no windows in yet uh or maybe there's a few i think I, maybe i found a few la windows anyway so i went back to the script and started working on making it even worse. So I, I that's the original command I ran, is just fill it in to up to 128. So then I'm doing an offset uh, at 127. So it just takes all those ones and, and makes copies of them at a density of 0.2. So it's not solid copy, it's you know a sparse copy. Uh, and then I randomize the colors because that'll make it even worse because then it has to do all the little transition bezels and stuff around all the color changes. And then I deleted about, I think it was 0 0.2, so like um, 20%, or no, 0.1, so 10% of the blocks. So now there's going to be even more gaps. Uh, that takes a while to run, for whatever reason. Probably all the random number generators. Then I saved it. And uh, that also took a little while, a couple seconds, but not nearly as long as it took for it to load. So here it is. Uh, when you click on the load button, it's like three seconds and then it starts loading and I'm not going to show it all because it's like 36 seconds of loading so who needs that uh, but here it is loading in and um, this went on and on for like well I waited two hours and it hadn't finished um, so it's still it, it was still working on it two hours later but I'll, I'll show you some of this so you can see it's loading these these towers in, and uh, the random color that it selected for the upper level was this kind of purpley, kind of purpley color. And then you can see there's some random stuff scattered throughout. I think I said 20% of them are, are randomized, random colors. So those are all in there too. And then I've got, uh, yeah, so it's right now it's just trying to load these in like it did before on the other one. Um, so it's just loading the, the voxels and I don't know what's going on with these. Like a lot of the geometry is, is corrupted. It's not, not drawing correctly. And that might just be because it's not loaded in yet. Mm, or it could be some other problem. I guess it's, yeah, I guess it's showing properly on the parts that it's loaded. Uh, so it's just, it's just striping these in from uh, one side to the other. I think it's negative x to positive x or something but you can see I, i'm gonna change the camera so it's looking down so you can see it pretty or better but you can see it hasn't loaded any of the stilts it's just loading the voxels and the 
uh, the roofs. It's doing roofs on them. Uh, you can see the roofs there. But those roofs aren't correct because they're going to be converted into platforms and stuff once all the stilts come down. Uh, so that all has to get redone at, uh, at a later time. So I'm just going to convert this. I'm going to speed this up. Uh, it's really boring to watch this happening in real time. So I'm going to speed it up 32 times. And, uh, and you can watch these stripe in over a period of minutes. Because it's like I said, this was like over an hour of just just waiting just waiting for it to go so here it goes 32 times speed so this is like every second is half a minute uh, and it still takes a long time so you can see it's striped them all in and now I think it's adding the stilts on the bottom of the buildings uh, yeah, and so now it's it's drawing the stilts in. So you can see that kind of going down. That's kind of neat. Um, so all the stilts are, are being drawn in. And I don't think... Yeah, it's not drawing ladders yet. It's just drawing stilts. So you can see the stilts on the right-hand side of that. There's this big gap, and you can see they're just going straight down. It's kind of cool. It's like ink falling through a filter or something. Um and you can see it's doing all the whatever the logic is to do the splits and the, uh, splitting off the the stilts and things everywhere. But then it finishes that, and then it starts drawing the ladders. And you can see the the ladders it makes it just a little bit darker uh, once those start going in. Have they started yet? I don't know. Uh, yeah, there they go. So there's the ladders going in, and. Uh, I really appreciate how this how Townscaper makes a an, a concerted effort to make sure that it, there is accessibility to every structure. Like there's no structures that are just gone. You know, you can't get to them, or or like uh, you know isolated somehow. Like they're all they're all connected to the I think to the water uh, in some way. So they've got ladders going up to the bottom of them if they're isolated, or the walkways. There are doors in the walls where the walkways meet, and uh, there are stairs down to the, or ladders down to the water, and sometimes stairs down to the water. So it's it's very cool. I like I like how it. It seems like it's doing a good job of, of getting those, uh, all those structures connected to each other. Um, but it's still drawing ladders. And I don't think it ever finished drawing windows. I don't know if it even ever started drawing windows. I don't. I don't know what it was doing. But yeah, so there's the. I think there's cross hatching going in or something on the stilts. I'm not sure. Or girders. Is it drawing girders now? I'm not sure what it's doing. It's still drawing something though, because you can see it going down, toward the bottom of the. Bottom of the level. Yeah, it's drawing something. Or maybe these are the ladders? I don't know. No, no, this is this is the like the cross hatching and the girders or whatever. The girdering. So it draws the stilts and then draws the girders, I guess. Stilts and then ladders and then girders. Anyway, so there's the girders are, are going down. They're almost reached the bottom. And at this point I gave up. I was like, well, you know, this is this is a lost cause. I'm not gonna wait for this to finish. So uh here we are. Let's take a look. So you can see, oh yeah, the, the girders are in, the ladders are in. So that's, that's like that's not bad, you know. Uh, railings are in. Um, it doesn't have any of the little plants. It doesn't have any of the little benches and things. But it's got the main things. And you can see it's very laggy. Um, I've got a decent graphics card, but this is not responsive especially when you're viewing a lot of stuff. If you've got it back and you're not looking down into the city, then it's not too bad. But this is just very, very unresponsive and difficult to use. And uh, you can you can still create and delete voxels, but then it like takes the time to update them. So it has to go back and figure out what all the girders that look like and all the ladders and all that. And uh, yeah, I looked and I didn't see any any windows yet so apparently it hadn't figured out how to get to the windows at this point but this is 
this is full frame rate. This is not, it's not like this is missing, uh, missing the, it's not like it's hanging up or anything. It's just, you know, that's, that's what the frame rate was. It's encoding properly. That's just not, it's not a good frame rate. So you can spin the model and it's not great. This is like 15 frames a second, maybe. Um, but up higher is more like eight or four. So yeah, here we are. This is rest in peace CPU town in Townscaper. And you can see there's there's geometry errors all inside there. And uh, to put a topping on the cake, it takes like, what is it? 34 seconds just to quit. 38 seconds, I think. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what Unity is doing emptying memory or whatever, but it doesn't even know how to quit at this point. It's like, uh, it's so much stuff. I'm not cut out for this. Apparently it's not cut out for it. So anyway, that's Kill CPU Town and how to make it with the script. Uh, enjoy. Thanks. Oh, here we go. Finally. Yeah, it's, it's exited. Whew. Take a break, Unity. You deserve it.